should be. You want to get out there, now you know you're in traffic. You either cover it up with two hands or get down. Blitz is coming. Lobestone, good protection, nice throw. That's Wilson, who got the touchdown. The sign you want, the agent you need. Well, they were trying to set up the quick hitter there. It's probably a good... But recovered by, by Marshall Lobestall on the out route. Lobestall, no blitz, has time. And Washington State picks up the first. Nick Ten off the linebacker with the hit. Second and ten. And that pass is dropped by Wilson. Blitz is coming. Up the sideline, quarterback didn't put keep the ball in play. Nikki's Wilson. Lobestall the throw and almost picked off. Steven stepped in front of it but could not. Playing that free safety, they, they call it the Aztec here. He read the quarterback's eyes. Lobestall stared the receiver down, and that's what you want your safety to do to come over and be able to cover ground. Lobestall looking over the defense. And they'll keep it on the ground with Winston. And Winston gets a block. No blitz. Catch? No, it's dropped. And it wouldn't have. Third and five. Pass downfield, and it's incomplete. Parker didn't turn around, and the flag comes in late. He's running in good position, and now there's contact. See the contact there? He's got the hands out. He's got the hands extended right in there. If, if he turns around and he runs into the receiver inadvertently, and where the ball was a little underthrown, yeah. he had to turn around. He, he might have been out there. Blitz is coming. And Wilson with the catch. This kid is something. An unbelievable skill set. This is a guy that can make people miss in the open field. Great speed. And look at this catch as he extends those hands out. That was pretty good coverage. That throw had to be absolutely perfect. The concentration by Marquise Wilson. First and ten. Winston's the tailback. Again, they go to the air, but this time it's in good position again. It's not that Parker hasn't been able to run with him. It's just made so many athletic plays when they see the tape of this game. Blitz is coming. Trying to set up the screen. It fell out of Lobosone's hand. It's a fumble and Aztec football. And repay the favor. And they're trying to set up a screen. And it's just automatic going to throw it out there. And then Lobostal realizes, uh-oh, San Diego State's read this screen on the outside. I can't throw it over. I'm going to throw an interception, throw right into coverage. As he tries to, to recock the foot. Fourth down. They're just one for eight on the season on fourth down. Going for it all. The Wilson, and it's picked off. Larry Parker gets the interception. Ball thrown just a little bit behind. Wilson, the great receiver, and allows Parker to make a play on the ball. We've seen that matchup a lot in this second half. I love how Parker turned and looked for the football yeah. this time. He was trailing, but but he realized that ball was underthrown back inside of him. And that's picked off. Chance for a big return here, and it's Parker again. He's a punt return guy. He knows what to do when he gets the football. There is a flag. That and Parker, who has had, had a big day and had to work a lot, a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups with Marquise Wilson, this time finds himself in the right spot. And Brady Hope, first-year head coach here at Michigan. Last year this time, they are working together with the Aztecs. Incomplete looking for Roy. Robinson comfortable throwing the football. Little hand play on the outside. He's got 
receivers that play bigger than their actual size and measurable. One on one ice. Toussaint, the deep man, fullback McColgan. Play fake, setting up a screen. It's complete. Gallon crosses the 45. Smith stays in the backfield. And they fake it to him. Robinson with the slant. May have a flag there. Here it comes. Linebacker and defensive back. You're going to see it just outside. Denard Robinson has been fairly accurate for the most part so far. When they get those isolation matchups, they want to take their shot. And I like the fact that they're letting him get back and spin the ball, Eric. Stayed and it continues because a lot of his staff stayed behind in San Diego and now working for Rocky Long. Robinson hits Smith open out of the backfield and Smith dropped down. Ball is loose. San Diego State. Well, it was a good play with a sloppy ending because Denard went through his read progression. Came back to the Martin and Deion Miller. I'm Eric Collins. Michigan has the ball first down at 20. Denard wants to throw. It is caught. That's Roundtree who gets out second quarter. Robinson already over 100 yards rushing in the ball game. He's got 104. And he's got even more. Look at this. Denard Robinson with a chance. And Robinson brought down by the shoelace. College football. Watch all he needs is a small sliver. And then he finds it. He can hit. Larry Parker stopped a sure touchdown. Denard still got the ball, and he's got he celebrates former NCAA athletes doing great things in their community. Let's take a look at one of those stories. Plenty of time to throw, and it's going to be intercepted. That was a poor pass into double coverage, and it's going to be picked off by Larry Parker. Once again, that man. That is now the fifth turnover that Parker has been responsible for the last two games. Turnover machine, and I just don't like the play call. No need for it. You're up 21-0 here, third quarter. Stay with what's working. No reason to get cute. That's a long throw for Denard. He doesn't have extra arm strength. Feels the pressure. Can't get enough juice on the ball. That's an easy read and break by Parker. It's Miles Burris in his face, their best pass rusher. And that forces the interception. That's now five interceptions. We'll get back to that. Folks, you've got to take a look at the, the ground that Ryan covered on that play. First down run. Fitzgerald Tucson across the 10, out to the 12. Longtime Cleveland Brown. Late 70s, early 80s, who was the NFL MVP in 1980. Goal number 17. On first down, Stephen Hopkins loses the football. San Diego State. Copy play, just not protecting the football. You know you're going to get contact. There was nothing special about that. Just gets a lazy arm in and rips the ball out. Watch the arm go in to dislodge the football. Folks, I believe that's Larry Parker who recovered that fumble. That However, and really rallying a young team. And there's Wesley, Ed Wesley. Missed three games earlier this year and making the same. Horn Frog, folks, also want to see how he reacts after hard shots like that. This time he'll hand off. Seven, Bryce Quigley, the tight end, got a hand on it first. So back to the ground, and why not? It worked on that opening drive for the by the cornerback. What do they have now on third down and long? Good protection again up front. First down across midfield goes Antoine. But Matthew Tucker with a great second and third effort gets the first down. Here's play action pass with James in there. Firing to Boyce. Josh Boyce has another first down for TCU. Los Angeles Crenshaw High School in his first start here tonight. And he is down, and well, a good call. And that ball pops out, but you just sent creates a potential for big plays because the bulk of the defense isn't there. That middle of the defense for the Aztecs has been open. Oh, no, interception in the end zone. That time it's the other corner, Larry Parker. For the Aztecs. In the last two games coming into tonight, Larry Parker has had four interceptions. He's really benefited, as we said, by teams thrown away from Leon McFadden. Paul Hall, who's been great, 
Pritchman against this offensive line at TCU to force them to be one dimensional. Good job by Boyce to hang on to that one. Is Whereas TCU is now on the four yard line, knocking on the pay dirt door again. And again, dancing is Wesley. Look to have him stop, trying to get to the corner now and won't get there. Wow. So first down play action for Paul Hall. Trying to get it to boys. How about that? Again, he goes he way up to pull it pick up. James, there's a significant difference in the receivers for TCU and for San Diego State. Great extension and vertical ability that time by Josh. Boyce. Guys aren't going to really be as willing to donate to this stadium if guys are out there getting in trouble at a little private school. They're taking care of business. And taking care of business still is his big running back, Ed Wesley who's nearing 2,000 career yards in the been run by Ed Wesley, but nine times out of 10 fumbles occur on second efforts. You've got to be able to protect that football. It was number 20. It came over for San Diego State. Matt Berhey that forced that football. You see it gets away when the ball is low and or away. Get themselves in the end zone. They've got to give him protection. that one up into a bunch of Aztecs and it's intercepted Larry Parker five interceptions in the past four games now for the senior from San Diego playing center field here that effectively ended up as a Hail Mary every day in practice a bubble screen up the middle it helps to slow those guys down and here's the end around this time to Dallas Burroughs. Dallas the Broncos. Feely showing blitz. That's Mitch Burroughs who readjusts outside. Looking that way and firing in a great break on the ball. Next level. Good corners have great instincts. That's from studying film and knowing what it is that the high percentage credit for. Just a tremendous playmaker. Good job by Doug Martin. On Miles Burris, who was missing from. That's what you want to do. Linehan in motion. And here's a swing pass to Martin. Martin cannot get out. Protection. But they pulled all punches on that last series and came up short. Aztec showed blitz, but back out of it. Oh, no. Going for the pick. And it's a first down. Larry Parker. Here, and he's kind of a ball hawk. Looks like he slips a little bit. He's coming back. Just the, the ball's just a little bit outside of his reach. Got to play a little bit tighter. Pile, baby. Just get, get in the film. Just get in the film. Yes, sir. <laughs> More standing strong. First and goal now from the 10. Again to Martin trying to get the edge. Look at Matt Miller block. Matt Miller held. Is taking advantage and stopping the run inside, but this time the linebackers are too close to the line of scrimmage. And great job on the outside edge. Doug Martin sees it as bunch up there, trusts his eyes, gets outside of his block, and Nate Potter, the left tackle, with a great job out there, followed by number two, Matt. So here goes Moore. We'll get to see the two-minute drill. Here. Gloves when you no, you wear the gloves right. that match the jersey. Right, that's what I'm saying. They've got their <laughs> white ones on right now. Stands out to the ground. Doug Martin. First kick. Ball. And here's a direct snap to Doug Martin. Fakes the handoff to Dallas Burrow. A, a typical true freshman. And here's a third down now for Moore and the Broncos. Plenty of time. Almost picked him out. It is off the hands of Burris on that back end for Boise hurting them again and then great job looked to be a leg injury as they helped him off to the sideline so here's Doug Martin trying to get outside look at him go airborne makes the guy miss and turns on the Jets Dougie Fresh who does it from 22 yards out both of these defenses rely heavily on their cornerbacks to be able to come up and run support and just does a little skip to Malu there See that right ankle heavily taped, but didn't seem to affect him there with the stiff arm on Larry Parker, who's been a pretty good tackler. Had an interception earlier tonight. Bear Hay runs over late.